Hello guys, welcome back to another new video of the Best Buy Marketplace. This is Khalid in front of you from the Ecom Clips team. In our previous video, we have already discussed the Best Buy Marketplace. We hope that all of you guys have already watched that video. If you didn't watch it yet, please click on the i button. In that video, we discussed all the key elements of the Best Buy Marketplace, which will help you make the decision why you should consider Best Buy for your next e-commerce business. If you are determined that you will start your e-commerce business on the Best Buy Marketplace or facing issues listing your products, then this video is for you. Because today I am going to show you the process of how to list product on the Best Buy Marketplace using a bulk file. So keep watching. Creating a new listing on Best Buy is something that every new seller wants to know. Because product listing is the very first step to selling products on any portal. On Best Buy, there are two ways to create a new listing. One is manual process and another one is bulk upload. As I mentioned you earlier, I will show you the bulk upload process throughout this video. So I am gonna let you know what is the bulk file. The bulk file is a tool that enables the upload of large volumes of record at one time by reading each record from a CSV file. Okay, let's jump into the process of listing products through a bulk file. First, you need to sign in to your Best Buy seller account. After signing in, you can see the dashboard. In this, you need to go to the My Inventory tab and select the Import from File option. Now, you can see the File Import page. On that page, please go to the Product option and click on the Excel Template option. It will redirect you to the Import and Inventory File page. On the Import and Inventory File page, go to the Select a File Template to Download option and click on the drop-down icon. From the drop-down menu, please select the Product option. If you want to update products and offers at once, then you need to select the products and offers option. If you want to update or add offers, then you need to select the offers option. As we are going to show you how to list product in this video, so we need to select the product option. Now go to the next step, select the required level of attributes section. Here you need to select the all, required, recommended and optional option by clicking on the drop down icon. The next important section is select the category. Here you can see a list of category names like appliance, baby and kids, computers, gaming, gift card, health, beauty, travel, etc. If your products belong to any of the listed categories, just click on the category and select the subcategory. You can also select multiple categories for your item. You can also search the category with your product keyword. Like my product is a rug, so I am searching with rug, which is my product's main keyword. So this is the category of my products, home and furniture, home decor category branch, rugs, carpet and mats. So I am selecting this one. After that, move on to the next section, select a language. Here you need to select the language according to your needs. After that, you just need to press the generate template button. Here your template is generating. Now it will show you the last generated template. Now click on the download button to download your generated template. Your template is downloading here. Now open the feed file. Here is your generated feed file. Now you need to fill up all the required attributes like select the category, provide shop SQ, title in English, short description in English, brand name, primary UPC, model number, etc. If your product have a variation then provide the variation group code. Now recheck your PPR feed file and don't forget to save it before upload. After that, go to the My Inventory tab and click on the Import from File option once again. Now it will redirect you to the File Import page. Here you can see the Select a File button under the Source option. Click on the Select a File option and upload your generated product feed file. Here is the prepared feed file. Now go to the next step File Content. Here you need to select the Products option from the drop down. If you prepared an offer file, then select the Offers option. If you prepared offers and products file, then select offers and products. If you prepared a price file, then select the price. For offers and offers and products, you can select any of the options like normal, update, delete and replace from the import mode section. But for prices, you don't need to select any of the options from the import mode. The system will automatically select the delete and replace option. Same for the products, but the selected option will be normal. Now, you just need to hit the import button to list your products. You can also track the report of your uploaded bulk file by clicking on the track product imports option. To check, click on the track product imports option. 
Here you can see the status of your uploaded bulk file. If everything is ok then the status will be completed. If you made any mistakes then you will see an error message. If you want to know where you made mistakes please click on the download the integration error report option to download the report. Open your report file and check which type of mistakes you did. After that fixed them in the same feed file and uploaded it once again. If you want to see your listed items go to the my inventory tab and click on the catalog management option. Search with the SQR UPC number to find out your products. So this is how you can create a new listing on Best Buy using a bulk file. If you want to create multiple listings or variations of any product manually it will be very time consuming. On the other hand bulk upload is a quick process and saves valuable time. The benefit of using bulk file for product listing is to upload a large base of information to the Best Buy platform in an easy and effective way. We hope that you understand the whole process clearly. Still if you have any confusion please let us know through the comment box. We will get back to you with proper solution. Besides if you are an e-commerce business owner and looking for an e-commerce solution provider then feel free to contact us. You can also visit our website www.ecomclips.com to know more about ecomclips. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next video. Have a good day.